Are you challenged to stay calm and collected when emotions run high? Do you know what you want to say in your head that when you speak something else falls out? Listen to learn how you can be clear and say what you want in those emotional moments. Welcome to this episode of Your Personal Wordsmith. Tips to communicate with clarity and impact. With public speaking and communications expert, Lillian Zarzar. You move in the direction of your most internal thought, and you have a dialogue with yourself about what you are thinking. That internal dominant thought controls your emotions, thus your behavior. Does your face flush? Do your hands get clammy? Does your stomach feel as though butterflies are floating around in there? Do you start shaking? The tendency is to react and you are feeling emotional as your thoughts become distorted. When your thoughts are distorted, you say things you don't mean and emotions escalate. Here are three tips to stay calm and speak clearly. First, outwardly remain silent and breathe deeply. Breathe evenly and slowly. Internally, while you are breathing, be conscious of your thoughts. Instead of hearing you say, how dare she? Or what right does he have? Change your thoughts and tell yourself, stay calm, be quiet, breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathing sends oxygen to your brain so you can think clearly about what's happening instead of being emotional and wishing it weren't happening. The message to your bicameral brain is to settle down. When you control your thoughts, you control your emotions. Your thoughts become balanced and you are not as lopsided in your perception. Second, inwardly tell yourself to listen carefully to what the other person is saying. You can concentrate on what their concerns are. Tell yourself, pay attention to this or listen to find out what this person is thinking. Talk to yourself. This person has a right to an opinion, even though I disagree with it. Say to yourself, I am calm. I am controlled. I am balanced. Because you move in the direction of that internal thought, you are calm and in control and in balance. Once others believe they've been heard, they will be more likely to listen to you. Third, Choose your words and actions carefully. If the others are upset, they may not be able to hear you because of their emotions. Evaluate the degree of emotion and their concern, and then determine what you can say to minimize the escalation. So say something like, this is too important, and I need time to think about what happened. Or, I prefer to discuss this when we are both less emotional. Let's come back in 20 minutes with ideas to talk about so that we can both stay calm. Offer them an opportunity to continue the conversation and take at least 15 minutes because it takes that long for the brain waves to subside. Remember, you are responsible for yourself, your behavior, and your words. Breathe, listen, and choose your words carefully. You remain calm and your message is shared in the way you intend. Give me a call. I appreciate the opportunity to help you in those emotional situations and to help you practice to stay in balance. 614-486-5523 or email me at my website, lillianzarzar.com. Thank you for watching your personal wordsmith. For more great information, visit lillianzarzar.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Columbus Biz TV Shows.